In September, the Nucleus team arrives at Andrea Space Center. The final part of the rocket, the nose, is attached and a few more tests are done. It's exciting. Now we just need to wait for the good weather and uh, we'll be there. We are going to launch and it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. oh, so nice. In the last days before the planned launch, the team takes a bit of time to rest. There is too much wind anyway. They decide to enjoy the spectacular nature at Anoya. Like our nice rocket, let's go to the sea! At precisely the worst possible time, the weather turns bad. Rain and strong winds means everyone will have to wait. The camera crew is struggling as well. Uh, Tari Vesteros, you're the, the program director of the, the Nucleus uh, program. And um, how are you feeling? Are you excited about uh, the launch team? Right now I'm feeling very excited. This is a significant event for us. Instead of launching a rocket, the Nucleus team ends up in a waiting game. On the first possible launch day, the oxidizer tank was filled and remained stable and harmless for several days. Pressure tests were carried out a few days before. So we drive a mail set and uh, trick testing of uh, then uh, oxidation smithel stank. So then molar or check out uh, all the racket and the linear tests, or they are in can like a jet or all the system of work as some of we will for launch data. Still, the bad weather just continues. If they can't get the rocket off the ground soon, it could be too late for this launch window. That would be a major setback, forcing the team to pack up and maybe come back next year. Then on day four, the wind finally calms down just enough.
the rocket is off the ground. But will it reach space? For what may be the longest few minutes of their lives, the team waits for the nucleus to reach an altitude of 100 kilometers. Exceptional, yeah. So I truly have a clear today. Over 100 kilometers, and it was so fast and fun. So I did truly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, okay, great. Okay, great. Little sharp in the mouth, but otherwise, otherwise, good. Good to be done. Yeah. What did you think when you saw the rocket go up? Det var så fort. Ja, det gick med en gång. Vi hade bara en meter av railen på skärmen, så det var ingenting att se. Bara den ventiler. De öppnade sig och där, puff, det var borta. Det var plötsligt borta, men det gick bra, ja. Ja, det gick helt fränt. Och vi såg bilder rätt efter lunch, att det var helt otroligt fantastiskt bilder. Med fin disse och allt, ja. Klo, ja. För det kunde ju gått galt. Ja, det er alt jeg kan, det er sikkert en rakke, det er så mange ting som kan gå galt, men en sånn fantastisk time som vi har her og nå, bak oss og så på rauf oss, det kunne ikke gå galt. Nei, det kunne ikke det. So now with what we have accomplished, we're actually one of the leaders worldwide in the field of micro-launcher propulsion systems. We are now demonstrating a suborbital rocket launch. We are the first in Europe to do that. And uh, so we really have to work hard and find partners on how we can get further. Uh, build bigger rockets, keep launching rockets, uh, upscale our rocket engines as well uh, to get us to the point where Next time we launch from under, yeah, will be actually a satellite on board our rocket going to orbit, and that's an exciting prospect. 